Los chicos, ¿cómo están el día de acá en Instagram, chicos? Vamos a continuar con Good evening, Miss. Please, Mr. Vampire, don't kill me. Please, no. I'm too young to die. I still have so much to offer this world. Wait, no. Why do you think I would What? Don't worry, Dr. Reed. I know you wouldn't harm me. Mother told me you were in this part of town and might drop by. Your mother? My name is Charlotte, sir. Charlotte Ashbury. My mother taught me long ago how to recognize the signs that betray a vampire. I understand she also taught you how to tease and gently mock innocent young Ekons. It's a pleasure to meet you, Miss Charlotte. What do you think about this part of town? I was raised here and I suppose it feels like home. You grew up in this part of town too, did you not? Yes, I was born a few streets away. A small world, is it not? Did you ever imagine that my mother was your neighbor all that time? That you could have met her in a dark alley at night? You won't trick me twice, young lady. We both know Lady Ashbury never hunts or attacks prey at random. Come on, Doctor. Don't tell me you never thought about that possibility. Her fangs on your neck. Oh, are you blushing, Dr. Reed? Is there something that's bothering you? Too much selfishness and individualism for my taste. Even when there was no epidemic. Even if that's partly true. May I remind you that many charitable institutions are financed by the selfish and filthy rich. I suppose you're right. But society must reform and renew itself or we are all done for. Tell me about your adoption. adoption. What do you want to know? Who are your real parents? Elizabeth Ashbury is my real mother. She raised me and has taken care of me all my life. I have no idea who my progenitors are or were. Do you live with I still spend a lot of time in my mother's mansion, but I have my own house now. I have a life to live, you see. And one day, I'll have my death to face. How did you meet Lady Ashbury? First, I was an orphan in the institution for girls she manages in the West End. When I was ten, she adopted me. And I have lived with her ever since. Did you know she was a vampire when she picked you? The correct word is Ekon, Doctor. And no, I had no idea why my mother only showed up at night. She told me everything when I turned 16. Though I suspected the truth for a long time before that. What are you doing out here? You mean, what do I do outside at night, since I am a woman? Let me ask you a question, sir. Would you ask the same question of a man? Actually, yes. I ask the same question to everyone who dares to go outside at night, considering the risks. Well, if you must know, I campaign for the right to vote for all women. Why should I wait to the age of 30 years when men can vote at 21? Are you a suffragette, then? Oh, you really are Elizabeth's girl. Without a doubt. All adult women have the right to vote in the US, in New Zealand, and in Australia. But women here can't vote unless they are property owners. No need to convince me, Miss Charlotte. I have shared your opinion for a long time, even before I met Emmeline Pankhurst. Really? Oh, now I see why my mother appreciates you so much. Too bad there aren't more men like you in the vicinity. How are the locals reacting to your claims? People here can't wait for a wall to be built to isolate the West End from the rest of town. That's how progressive they are. If this happens, Emily and I will blow it up. Explosives are very dangerous, young lady. And who is this Emily? She is my best friend, and a suffragette too. She was supposed to campaign with me tonight, but hasn't turned up. Have you any reason to be worried about her? Recently, Emily started to believe in... Well, she got interested in vampires. I'm afraid she might be in trouble. Let me guess. You spoke to her about us, didn't you? Despite your mother's warning, I think I should try to find your friend. Oh, that would be top notch. I can tell you where she might have gone. You have my thanks, Dr. Reed. And please, don't tell my mother. 
What exactly has your mother told you about me? Your name and profession, obviously, and the mystery about your maker. I'm sorry to hear about what happened to your sister, sir. Mother says it was not your fault. Does it not scare you to know what I am? What your mother is? Why should it? My mother is the most compassionate woman. Must I be wary of her, Dr. Reed? Or you? Of course not. You have nothing to fear from me, or your mother. Good to know. And don't worry, my mother told me everything I need to know about vampire tricks, their nature as well as features. Your mother is not like any other vampire I've met. I believe she thinks the same about you, Dr. Reed. Do you know why Lady Asprey chose you to become her daughter? No, I don't. Each time I ask her that question, she smiles and says it's precisely because I dare to ask such questions. Do you ever regret that she chose you? Of course not. Though I often wonder if she adopted others before me. If so, where are they buried? How was it for them to pass through life with a never-aging mother? Goodbye, Charlotte. She's been quite busy these last few nights. I suspect you may see her before me. Desde aquí hay algo muy raro porque claramente esto no es, digamos las palabras simples, no es como cualquier ciudad, o sea. Don't let any strangers come into your house. Good evening, sir. May I have your attention, please? Come on, Johnny. Don't you recognize your oldest friend? Clarence. Clarence Crossley. How are you? My God. So you survived the war too. So sorry I didn't recognize you at first. I almost didn't recognize you either. War does that to men, I heard. In my case, it was true, for I witnessed the horror that lies underneath. When did you escape the war and return to London? You know what's funny? I almost never think about the war. Not anymore. I'm involved in another kind of battle now. I know what you mean. I haven't had much time to think about the war either since my return. Of course. With the epidemic, I bet you've been busy as well. Forgive me, Johnny. I, I didn't want to sound selfish. What is this new battle? Well, I saw terrible things during the war. Horrors I thought I'd forget. They're here too. They're everywhere. Vampires. In this pueblo, como que la gente piensa que más de vampiros que en cualquier otro pueblo. Hablan mucho de ellos como si nada. How is your wife, Venus? We've spent so much time away from each other, and so many things have happened. But you're alive. You returned in one piece and you have a family. How many soldiers can say the same? Believe me, it's not quite that simple. Unlike you, I'm not the man I used to be. Is everything all right at home? Surely Venus was relieved to see you return from France in one piece. Have you forgot what people are like in this part of town, Johnny? Venus fears for our family reputation. Now her husband has become the village idiot. some rest, Clarence. You should try to sleep. No está rara la crucilla acá. Esta ciudad es diferente a... a cualquier otra. Ahora, antes de seguir investigando, quiero mejorar mi arma. Que ya creo que tengo las esperanzas.
Ahí encontré una carta antigua, qué rara. Acá. Ni siquiera la leí, güey. Bueno. O sea, nunca la he leído en realidad, pero. anda ahí hueveando está grande la cago ¿no? si le hemos estado ¿no? varias veces está grande y cuando yo lo traje era chiquitito ahora me parece extraña esta ciudad porque como que aquí viven como si no pasara nada afuera es como no sé bueno es como otro mundo me entiendes no, no viven bajo el pensamiento de la plaga de la weá Es como el resto de lugares que como que puta todo va, se basa en, en, en la preocupación de la, de la plaga, la enfermedad y la mierda y la mierda. Y la puta mierda, porque no sé, es raro, weón. Bueno. Solamente raro. Guri. I may have Entonces tiene. Tengo que revisar qué es lo que necesito, porque en realidad no tengo mucha plata, tengo poca plata y alcanzar a mejorar a nivel 5 de la wea. O sea, a nivel 4. Y ella es la. bueno, ya hablé con ella recién. En el episodio anterior o en este episodio no O sea, me impresiona. Puta, como que todo, o sea, fíjense que yo salgo acá allá y ya está la cagada, pero aquí no, aquí está, está todo perfecto. Pareciera que no hay más gente, o bueno, hay más gente definitivamente, pero ¿dónde? No sé. Pero no veo gente más, por lo menos. Veo, vi esas dos personas, ¿no? Bueno, más mi madre y el mayor de ¿no? si ven, si ven el resto es como que está todo así. Tal vez para allá arriba. Pero o sea, generalmente mi vista tiene bastante amplitud, así que. Subir a algo. Hello. Is anyone there? Jonathan, is that you? I did not know you were back in London. Oh, my dear Johnny, I'm so sorry for your loss. 
Mary was such a sweetheart. Thank you, Venus. May I come in? I was going to bed, actually. Forgive me. I'll tell you. No puedo cautivarla ni de nivel 4. Pero la, la veré. O sea, la, la, que, la veré sacado de aquí. A el esposa de Eric, weón. Ah, y ahí se ve el corazón. No me he dado ni cuenta, weón. Soy ciego. A ver si se cautiva rápido, eh. Vale, vale. Con lo que tengo, o sea, con el, con el 3 que tengo, lo puedo cautivar rápido. ¿no? Mm. Eso nos llevaría a otro lado. Ya no importa, voy a ir a la misión principal. la curiosidad no más tengo tenía como la curiosidad pero pero parece que está, la gente está más lejos no sé. club ascalón Acá están los vampiros y la gente más poderosa de todo. Do you know where you are standing right now? In front of the Ascalon Club, I presume. The Ascalon Club only summons or ostracizes. What is your business tonight? I received an invitation. I'm Dr. Jonathan Reed. Welcome to the Ascalon Club, then, Dr. Reed. Please proceed. Lord Redgrave is waiting on you upstairs. Están todos putamente muertos, güey, en este club Ascalon. Welcome to the Ascalon Club, then, Dr. Reed. Welcome to the Ascalon Club. <laughs> repite, repite nada más, repite todo lo que le pregunto. Se le hablo y me repite. There has been quite a battle here. I'm sure the Ascalon Club has the money to replace the furniture. <laughs> no pensé que fuese así. Pensé que era como más, no sé, ver. Un poco más cuidadoso que de lo que está ahora. Está la cagada. Es como si llega a la, a la mira. I cannot enter. Te he conseguido tres de esas cartas, me falta una todavía y no sé cómo chucha, weón. Estoy saliendo o no? Sí, estoy saliendo ahora, sí. lo que me suena más porque si no no habría pantalla de carga se ve salí de experiencia tampoco a ah, miren puñal no, nada de interés voy ganando de 5 en 5 monedas se me hubo más putamente pobre en el universo
y aquí está la gente. Good evening. My good friends, if I may have your attention. Behold our visitor, the good Dr. Reed. Newborn of blood so pure and strong that even my friend Fergal Bansha was no match for him. Here, here, here. Come forward, young Ekon, for we have so much to discuss. Welcome to the Ascalon Club, Dr. Reed. I am Lord Redgrave, Earl of Bristol and Chairman of this exclusive association. Lord Redgrave. At last we meet. I've been eager to make your acquaintance. I've heard some astounding things about you. Please accept my condolences for your loss, Dr. Reed. Thank you, my lord. Lady Asprey expressed your wish to meet me. Yes. The lady has always been a useful acquaintance, though not always reliable. Is she a good friend of yours? She has proved to be helpful on many occasions. Hmm. The centuries have taught me never to trust a woman completely, especially if she is immortal. Too prone to emotions, if you ask me. Too fickle when it comes to important decisions. My lord, do not expect me to speak ill of Lady Ashbury. Of course not, and I praise your loyalty. Would you offer the same fidelity to the Empire? What do you mean? I speak of the Skull Plague that threatens London and the country. You have been on the front line in the East End, but the time has come to open up a second front here. The epidemic has escaped the quarantine. You have new cases of the outbreak. We don't know for certain, but we cannot allow the disease to threaten the prominent heads of Great Britain. Why do you suddenly need me? The Ascalon Club only recruits the best, and you definitely fit the bill. Your scientific and medical reputation alone would qualify you as a candidate. You want me to find possible sources of the outbreak in the West End? Is that it? Ah, straight to the point, like all eager newborns. We shall have time to talk about all this, Dr. Reed. But first, I should like to get to know you better. Talk? Is that the only reason you asked me here? Well, no. I also wanted to meet the intriguing Ekon who made such a powerful progeny of his sister. You have not learned the name of your maker, am I correct? No. I haven't. Have no embarrassment, Dr. Reed. We all make mistakes. But whatever your lineage, you are definitely Ascalon material. What do you mean? I would like you to become a member of the Ascalon Club, and to serve me as such. Before I accept, I have so many questions. Please ask. What does it mean? to be a member of the Ascalon. It means that you swear to protect the interests of the Crown, that you become a loyal servant of the British Empire. Do you have any official recognition from the government? A charter from His Majesty the King? No. Of course, the Ascalon Club publicly supports the Empire, but the true nature of its members remains a secret. Am I supposed to follow orders? As founder and chairman of the club, I alone am entitled to make demands of our members. And I do appreciate obedience. What is the Ascalon Club's express purpose? We follow the credo of William Marshall, the greatest knight who ever lived. As was he, we are sworn to protect the British Empire. What does Ascalon mean? Ascalon was the lance wielded by St. George, glorious patron saint of England when he slew the dragon. 
And like that lance, we pierce the hearts of all our nation's enemies. William Marshall founded the Ascalon Club. Not exactly. William Marshall granted me immortality, and I founded the club a few years later. The good knight has been gone for so long. I killed Fergal, who claimed to be one of yours, sent to cleanse the East End of all Skulls. Will his death be an issue? Do not worry. My priorities have changed. Fergal was a zealous servant of mine, but like any servant, he had his limitations and is readily replaced if necessary. I agree to join the club. This is good news. Good news indeed in these crucial times. Let's inform the assembly formally and proceed with your initiation. My initiation? Fear not. Nothing fancy nor dangerous. It is just that we, the members of Ascalon, believe that tradition and custom are the backbone of this country. My fellow members, dear friends, please gather and welcome this Ekon as one of our own. Is he worthy? Is his blood pure? Well, speak, Dr. Reed, in front of the most sacred blood. The blood of our beloved William Marshall, speak now. Will you serve and protect the crown as he did? Yes, I will. Then, young Ekon, it is time to testify with your blood. It is time to sign the Book of Allegiance. I know it's awfully gothic and a tad pedantic, but England's traditions are the backbone of our nation. Welcome to the Ascalon Club, Dr. Lee. Take your place among the bearers of the lance. One of us! One of us! Che viejo, what the hell? Eh, voy a hablar con todos ahora. No sé, o sea, no sé si puedo, pero... Supongo, no sé. Good evening, Dr. Reed. How does it feel to be this evening's centerpiece? Figuratively. It's quite unsettling. As a doctor, I am more used to being the observer than the subject observed. Do not be alarmed. The Ascalon Club has a tried and tested policy for choosing its initiates. May I ask who you are, sir? Why would you be interested? Well, as you seem to be the only man in the room with a beating heart, you draw quite a bit of attention yourself. Ah, vampire senses never cease to fascinate me. They dwarf those of mere mortals. I am Aloysius Dawson, by the way. Immortal. Are you a member of the club? Well, yes, I am. And I have been for many years. And will be until the day I die. What can you tell me about it? It's not really my place to give you such information. I am merely a mortal member. And a dying one at that. Are you sick? Personally, I consider my advancing years are a sickness in itself. My body is slowly abandoning me, Dr. Reed. Are you not afraid? You are surrounded by vampires. Sir, it's for that very reason that I joined the club in the first place. Is not the nature of this club a secret shared by only a privileged few? My dear Dr. Reed, I have spent years and a fortune precisely to gather that kind of information. 
So you asked for membership? I have been a member of many clubs in many countries. But I must admit, this one is my favorite. What can you tell me about Lord Redgrave? I would not dare speak of our chairman without his consent. Mr. Dawson? Of Dawson and Dawson? The wealthiest man in England? It is a pleasure to meet such a prominent figure of yeah, London. A withering London way. figurehead, to be precise. Are you sick, Mr. Dawson? I am a doctor, you know. My case is beyond the scope of traditional medicine. I have spent fortunes on the world's most competent doctors to arrive at that diagnostic conclusion. I'm sorry to hear that, sir. Should I suppose that you're here in search of some form of immortality? Absolutely not. I'm here to implement my plan to save the city I was born in. To cast out the ghastly evil that has us all on our knees. What do you know about the Guard of Prewin? I should not say this, but I admire their commitment. This is what the nation needs right now. But they are our enemies. They are not mine, Dr. Reed. Would you help them? No. There is a time for such methods, but brute force will not be enough to fight this plague. We have to think differently. What is the situation like in this part of town? I am sure Lord Redgrave will enlighten you more effectively than I. Money cannot solve every problem. This mysterious epidemic is going to require more than money can buy. You're right. Money is nothing unless one has the will to wield it. I have a plan, sir. A radical one that will save all that is essential in London. What is your plan, then? Quarantine and barricades are futile. What we need is a wall. A formidable, unscalable wall to isolate the deserving from the infected masses. But that would segregate the rich from the poor, would it not? It would be unjust. Our only course of action must be to save England. And to save England, we have to make sacrifices. Are you not mistaking sacrifice for summary execution? Why do you care? Are you not a vampire, removed from all mortal concerns? Decisiveness is what the city needs, and it needs it now. We'll talk later, Dr. Reed. Bueno, me gustó la conversación. El hombre. Pero. Ay, ah. Y él es el. El men. Entiendo. Entiendo. Así que nada, chicos, eso es por el día de hoy. Ya saben, suscríbanse, dejen like, comenten bajo el video, compartan el canal. Estamos recién empezando en esta ciudad, así que. Va a haber mucha conversación acá.